One of my favorite things to make in the fall and winter months is butternut squash. It's so cozy and wonderful and perfect in a wide range of dishes, everything from soups to enchiladas. So today I'm gonna show you my tips and tricks to how to peel and cut a butternut squash. So let's do it. The first thing you wanna take is one butternut squash, obviously, and a peeler. So what I like to do is peel all of the skin off the butternut squash. You usually have to go around it twice to make it just very seamless and so that there's no hard pieces. I will say that it's important that you have a really good peeler because otherwise it's not gonna work with the tough skin of the butternut squash, so just make sure you invest in a good one. There are plenty of nice ones on Amazon. Now, it can get pretty slippery to grip onto, so sometimes I just like to set it down and then kind of go for it with my peeler. Don't worry, it doesn't have to be perfect, but just do the best you can. You can always cut off some of the skin later. What I'm gonna do is go around the butternut squash twice now, just to make sure that I can see all of the orange flesh as I peel it. You can kind of work the bottom of it as best you can here. Okay, looks pretty good to me. So now we're gonna discard all of our peel and we're gonna get chopping. First thing you wanna do is take a very sharp knife and cut off the ends of the butternut squash. You'll flip it so that it's flat on the bottom and you're gonna cut through the middle. Be careful when you do this. Now we can scoop out the seeds and start to cut it into cubes. We're ready to get chopping. So flip this so that it's flat side down again, and now simply cut it into one inch sections. For these ones where we scooped out the seeds, you're gonna cut it into just one inch sections. It's super easy. But for these, we're gonna cut these again into sections, and then we'll cut them horizontally. And voila, we have perfectly cubed butternut squash that's great for roasting. And stay tuned because in my next video, I am gonna show you how to make the best cozy roasted butternut squash that's perfect for cooking and for serving at Thanksgiving, et cetera, et cetera. So I will see you guys there. Be sure to show me if you cut your butternut squash this way by using the hashtag ambitiouskitchen.